Only ornamentation. Actually, that was really good. I think I'll take that back. That, that is magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> Not an understatement. <laughs> With the opening up of Clevedon, when the local board of health was established in 1853, some of the Victorian buildings were magnificent. And that is... Um, an understatement. It was not only ornamentation, but ornament upon ornament. This one was built by William Green, who was working as a builder while his wife ran it as a boarding house. The architect was probably Hans Price, who had this affection for a step letter effect on the front and he loved these little round slate inserts. Norfolk House was one of the houses built by Henry Howard, who was one of the early builders of Clevedon and seemed to specialize in ashlar work, very smooth fronted, non-jointed, non-mortared bath stone. He also built Charleville in the Italianate style with a lovely tower on the end of it. This was followed by Middle, who started putting towers on his buildings in Linden Road. William Shopland did most of his decoration in woodwork. He cut it himself on a bandsaw and sandwiched the frets together in sometimes as many as three sandwiches. His carving is lovely artwork. But unfortunately, preservation of woodwork, yeah, his stonework, was something different. A mastiff on one side of his door, snarling perhaps, growling. On the other side, a whippet or a greyhound. Oh, it's only 10 or 15 years to the south of Hill Road were all Victorian built, purpose built shops rather than adapting from a dwelling place. And they follow very similar style to the large mansions which ran along the spread of Elton Road. The market was built in 1869 for the increase in population. This development meant that more churches were needed in the town in the distance. By the early years of this century, most of the hill slopes of the town had been built on, and the natural development followed along the flatlands to the south of the hills in an estate type of building, rather than individual houses. There have been a lot of developments in Clevedon over the years. Some of them have met with general approval, while others have raised a lot of controversy in the town. What you think, we leave to you. Some of the houses which had too large a garden, some of the land which was maybe becoming semi-derelict, have had buildings put on them. Magnificent, maybe. Modern style. Uh, is it too modern? Would it blend in over the course of years? What did the people of Regency period Clevedon think of Mr. Green's house? And the other houses which were built in Elton Road first. This attempt has blended in beautifully with the Victorian style. Uh, if there had been town planners in medieval time, would we have had any castles built in this country?